You ever replace a sensor, check every wire twice, and still can't get that check engine light to turn off? Well, your problem might not be the sensor at all. It might be the brain of your car, the ECM, or engine control module. This little box runs everything, from how your car starts to how it shifts gears. And when it goes bad, it can make you chase ghost problems that waste your time and money. So today on Fix My Ride, I'm gonna show you the five real world symptoms of a bad ECM and how to spot it before your car leaves you stranded on the side of the road. One, check engine light that won't quit. All right, first up, that check engine light that won't go away no matter what you replace. You scan for codes, it says sensor fault. You replace the sensor, still on. You check the wiring, the connectors, everything looks perfect. Here's the catch. Sometimes it's not the sensor that's bad, it's the ECM sending or reading bad data. It might have taken on water, got corroded inside, or even shorted out from a voltage spike. So the ECM is basically lying to your scanner, throwing random codes that make no sense. If that sounds familiar, don't blame your tools yet. Your car's brain might just be losing it. Two engine won't start symptom number two no start you turn the key the starter cranks but the engine just won't fire here's why the ecm controls every critical sensor your car needs to start crankshaft mass airflow o2 sensors throttle input all of it if the ecm isn't communicating properly your fuel injectors won't fire and your ignition timing will be off Basically, it's like your car forgot how to start itself. And if you've ever been stuck late at night with a car that just cranks, that's a moment you'll never forget. Three, random stalling. Symptom number three, engine stalling for no reason. You're cruising down the road, everything feels fine, and then boom, the engine cuts out. That's your ECM losing control mid-drive. It's not sending the right spark or fuel signals, so your engine just gives up. Sometimes it'll restart right away. Sometimes it'll leave you sitting there wondering what just happened. Either way, that's not a sensor issue. That's a command issue. Four, loss of power or acceleration. Now, if your car feels sluggish, like it's got no power when you press the gas, that's symptom number four. The ECM reads your throttle position and decides how much fuel to send. If that signal gets corrupted, your air fuel ratio gets thrown off. You'll feel it instantly. Hesitation, rough idling, or slow acceleration. It's like your car is trying to move, but the brain isn't sending the message fast enough. And trust me, that's one of the most frustrating feelings when you know your car should have more power. And five, hard or delayed shifts. And the fifth symptom, weird shifting. Hard shifts, delayed deers, or jerky driving. Here's what's happening. Your ECM constantly talks to your transmission control module, the TCM. It sends throttle data so the transmission knows when and how hard to shift. But if your ECM sends bad info, your transmission reacts to garbage data. That's when you start feeling those nasty clunks or delays while driving. Most people think it's a transmission problem, but sometimes it's just the brain misfiring the signals. So to recap, if you've that random check engine lights, stalling, no starts, weak acceleration, or weird shifting, your ECM might be the real culprit behind it all. And before you let a shop charge you a fortune for random part swaps, watch my next video, The Easiest Way to Reset Electronic Parking Brake. It's another Fix My Ride classic that'll save you hundreds in repair costs. If this video helped you out, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. What's the weirdest ECM symptom you've ever had? Until next time, I'm Jack Turner reminding you, don't just drive it, fix my ride.